numbers and stuff and actually feel it worth. Well, actually, what I plan on doing is I'm going to be upgrading my computer once I... I should have... be starting my first day of my new job in the next couple of days. And... As such... I'm going to probably upgrade my computer. I'm definitely going to order the... Uh, Asus Rock Extreme 3 Gen 3 motherboard uh, to be compatible with Ivy Bridge or just have a really nice Z68 chipset board that is uh, very properly priced and I'm going on about computer parts and half of you guys probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about. These are my road designs. This is the modified road design right here. You guys, if you watch my other videos, will see this road design. Uh, people really seem to like that. I'm I thought it was really easy to build, and it took me no time at all to figure out how to do that, and it was really easy to work with, and it looks nice, so I was like, sure, I'm going to use it. Now, this part here is going towards the big city area, because this is essentially going to be one big city. We're building a... We, what we want to do is build a world for our players, and it's going to have constant DLC, so you're going to constantly have to go back and re-download the map or whatever, or and plug the files into your current plays and all that stuff and we'll try to figure out how to make that as easy as possible with the instructions for you guys so anyways off to the big city area as you can see I had to modify my road here which I might have done a little bit too soon probably should have extended that design a little bit longer mm, because you're now leaving the prison area that's the prison area over there do I have this marked yeah they have this strip mark. Be mindful of these stupid ass holes. I'm not entirely sure why they keep happening. Uh, but you need to disconnect and reconnect and it'll it'll be gone. But I'm not entirely sure why that's like that. Off in the distance way over there you can see something. I can't really go into detail about that yet because it's not finished. Oh. See? I... Uh, don't know why it does that, but it does it. And... I mean, I've dedicated... It's not using it at the moment, but I did dedicate 2 gigs of RAM out of my 8 to the Minecraft server, and it still does that, so I don't know what the hell that's all about. And you got the gatehouse. The 250 block mark. This, I'll go back here real quick and give you a nice little view. It is a nice, very large gatehouse, and as you can see, the city's starting to come into play. Uh, they really worked on that. It's probably going to be the city wall. Anyways, doop, 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 doop. and this is what it'll look like when you first enter the city. I can't remember what we called it. Uh, I guess this is not very detailed at the moment, so. Justin really needs to get a mic so I can start recording this stuff on Skype and stuff. And this is what it looks like. Nice lighting in here. They really managed... They, Justin does a great job with lighting. I'm going to assume anything that actually looks really good was planned out on the lighting side is probably Justin. Give him a high five for that. He's a very good builder considering he's only been playing the game for about two months now. Uh, I'm a very like detailed builder. I, I hate building unless it's something I can really detail out kinda like this stuff even though I had nothing to do with just about anything other than that prison back there. I built most of the prison. Uh, the guys have built a lot of this. You got the guards quarters you got street lamps now. They finally set up street lamps. The fuck's that over there? I don't think... Shops. Do we got villagers? The fuck is this? What the fuck is this, dude? Is this a fucking villager? It's like a robot.
Get over here, Justin, you laggy hunk of shit. Sorry, we're getting sidetracked it, but this is the first time I first time I've ever seen something like this. Fuck is it? It's a golem? Sweet. You can tell I pay a lot of attention to updates and shit. Okay, back on track. Okay. I was over here, I believe. Iron golem. That's probably would have came to that conclusion. A shop. All these are empty at the moment. Don't worry, they will be extremely detailed eventually. Everything in our maps is going to be worked on, and they're going to be filled out, and everything. We are a three-man crew. No, you cannot help us build our stuff. We don't. We actually... Alan, one of the guys, really doesn't want me to give you even the videos until we're finished, and we have it all marked down and everything, because we don't want people to steal it. But I don't think people are going to go through the trouble of stealing stuff that they can't make. Welcome! This is apparently some store. Oh, cool. And this is the basic layout of the bigger stores. The guys are rather happy about this. It looks pretty good. Okay, apparently the iron golems have been strategically placed throughout the city in order to guard it. They're waiting to be brought back to life. This is one of our favorite buildings here. I do believe this is the... Easy Lichen Tavern. I really thought this place was cool. I really like it. As an admin, if I was able to like actually play with all the people that plan on downloading my map, which, by the way, we really would love to do if you really want. Um, I, unlike a lot of other people, are going to try to check as many of my comments and as, reply to as many of them as I can and try to uh, uh, get as many of these messages and everything private keep out so odds are I'm not gonna go up there because odds are you shouldn't see what's up there um this was a very good design brick and birch actually go really well together but uh back to what I was just saying um, yeah if you guys want to uh send us comments or something and play some matches with us uh we have no problem with that we'll set up a play date and everything and it'd be really cool uh there's a village over there built by normal villagers. Exactly what we're going to do with that, I don't know yet. Um, the uh, Bearded Inn, I think it's called. The Bearded Wolf. There we go, the Bearded Wolf. This is pretty cool. It looks very nice in here. This is very well done. Ad advanced style of lighting. Uh, don't get on these and jump around. It's kind of funny. These are bars. Nice little bars. Got some really great lighting, it just looks really good. Your patron area where people can come and sit and drink and everything, right outside their rooms, which are at the moment detailed. This is one of the few buildings we have. Oh, yeah, then you have a personal light switch in your room. So, all the rooms will look basically the same because it is an end. So, and they all have personal light switches, which is really cool. And you got more room. There's a few of them. And then out of nowhere, 1408 reference. You walk there and it shits out a 